Join us now for a moment of faith with Dr. Joe Arthur, pastor of the Harvest Baptist Tabernacle in Jonesboro, Georgia. This is an internet broadcast that will air daily at 12.30 p.m. and will remain on our Harvest Facebook page for you to view at any time. This broadcast is to uplift God's children and to remind us all that faith is the victory that overcometh the world. Now here's our pastor with a moment of faith, Dr. Joe Arthur. And greetings today to all of our listening and viewing friends. Welcome to a moment of faith. We're excited today to be able to come to your place of listening and watching. And we appreciate the thousands and thousands of people. Uh, my One of my tech guys, Brother Chris Watson, was just telling me in the last 17 days or so, well, I know the last seven days, over 30,000 people have viewed uh, our websites, our Facebook, and I, I trust that the messages that we live stream and we download on our uh, website, and I trust our daily moment of faith is a real encouragement to you, because in times like these, we sure do need it. We've been praying for our country that God would move in a miraculous way. We've been looking this week on our program on Faith Makes a Way. When there is no way, when there seems to be no way, faith makes a way. We've been looking at the fact that faith makes a way back. It makes a way back to someone that has wandered, strayed, taken the wrong path. Faith makes a way back. We looked at how faith made a way back for Naomi. Yesterday, we looked how faith made a way back for Jacob. I want to come today to a very familiar passage of Scripture in God's Word, and I want us to see how faith made a way back for the prodigal son. Faith made a way back. Now, we've been using this verse somewhat as a text. It says, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So therefore, when God speaks to someone through his Holy Spirit, according to his word, it births, it breathes, it breathes, brings faith to that individual. And when they act on that faith, it engages the promises, the blessings, of God in their life. Naomi heard that the Lord had visited his people. God spoke to Jacob and said, return. Well, there's an interesting verse found in Luke's gospel, chapter number 15, concerning the prodigal. And it's in chapter 15 and verse number 17, which says, and when he came to himself. Now, up to this point, he has been so blinded and self-consumed that he has made one wrong choice, one bad decision after another. He doesn't listen to his father. He doesn't listen to anyone in the father's house. He's not even listening to God. But when he hit rock bottom, or should I say mud bottom, in that hog pit, brother, God had to speak to this man because it says, and when he came to himself, I believe this is one of the most vivid pictures of what real conviction is in all of the Bible, when God speaks to a man and God convicts a man, he comes to himself. It's like he is woke up. He is aroused out of a dream. And all of a sudden he realizes, I got a need. 
I've got a problem. And I need to do something about it. Oh, and I'm glad when God spoke to that young man. That young man came to himself. It birthed. It brought. It breathed. It breathed. Faith. Faith made a way back. I've often heard it said like this. Why did the prodigal son come home when he came to himself? Well, he knew that he could. He knew that he could. He knew enough about his father, well glory, that he knew that he could. Man, there may be somebody watching or listening to this program today. You've been wondering, oh, Lord, I would love to do something about my miserable experience. Things in my life are not right. Oh, I would love to go back to the Lord. I'm telling you, faith makes a way back. And the same God that took Jacob back, and the same God that took Naomi back, and the same father that took the prodigal back, is the same loving, wonderful, heavenly father that will take you back. Because faith makes a way back. Let me give you three things about this prodigal and how faith worked in his life. Number one, I want you to see the path that he took. He took the path that a lot of people are taking and have taken in our world today. He took the path of rebellion. He took the path of disobedience. He took the path of lust. He took the path of unbridled, illicit desire. He chose not to listen to his father. He chose not to listen to the advice of the Father's house. And he literally turned his back on the fellowship, on the joy, the protection, the blessing of the Father's house. And took his journey into a far country. I've always been amazed at the word of God's expression about this prodigal. It could have said that he went to a certain place. It could have named that place. But oh, notice these descriptive terms. Far country. Far country. And may I say to you today, a step away from God. Too far. A moment without God is too far. One day without God is too far. The path that he took took him to a far place, seemingly far from the Father. But I want you to see not only the path that he took, I want you to see the price that he paid. The Bible said when he got to that far country, listen to this descriptive term, he spent all. He spent all of his life savings. He not only spent his money, he spent his time, he spent his opportunity, but he spent his conscience, his body, his flesh. The word says that he wasted it. Oh, the tragedy of a wasted life. He goes from everything to nothing. He goes from being fair to starvation. Oh, the price that he paid. And ladies and gentlemen, there is a price to pay. For going away from God, breaking God's word, leaving God out of your life. But oh, I'm glad the story doesn't end with the path that he took or the price that he paid. But thank God, notice the pardon that he found. When he came to himself, he gave the pigs a permanent wave. And said, I will arise and go to my father. One of the greatest vivid pictures of real repentance in the Bible is demonstrated in this text. He really, literally turns his back on the hog pen and turns his life 
toward the Father's house. And he's headed home now. He's headed in the right direction now. He's headed to the Father. Oh, but the Bible said when the Father saw that boy a great way off, he, he ran, met him, fell on his neck and kissed him, brought him back to the family, brought him back to the table, and said, this is my son. He was dead, but he's alive. He was lost, but now he is found. He got the robe. He got the ring. He got the fatted calf. He got the Father's name. He was restored under the joy of the Father's house because faith makes a way back. Oh, the song is ringing in my soul. I wandered far away from God, but now, I'm coming home. God is calling the prodigal. Come without delay. Hear, oh, hear him calling. Calling now for thee. Let me encourage you to come to God. Because I'm glad that faith makes a way back. Thank you for listening this week. We're looking forward to seeing you next week on another moment of faith.